Hey, try about the uh, you making noise and you can hear oh. every move you make. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the CTR show, man. Controversy Talk Radio. Um, we've been discussing a couple different topics, man. If y'all been listening, I definitely want y'all to call in and give your opinion, man. You can be anonymous. I don't know why y'all scared to call in and talk, man. I know a bunch of y'all listening in. Again, number 407-906-4440. Oh. Um, y'all niggas stop acting scared and shit. So, it was it's a subject that um I wanted to bring up that Hasn't really, everybody, I think a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, know about this, but nobody's really been talking about it anywhere, and I just wanted to give it some acknowledgement. They and don't know. They, they, don't. they don't know. They don't. they don't know. Okay, well, for those who don't know, uh, the one and only, true Texas, Houston, Texas, I believe, you know what I'm saying, legend, the one and only, I think his name, Brad Jordan? Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson? Yeah. Yeah. The one and only Scarface. That's what y'all know him by. If y'all if y'all haven't heard, your boy Scarface is actually running for city council in uh, the state of Texas. And um, district, I think district D, district D, district D. And um, I think it's something that needs to get more spotlight. Look, more of us need to get politically involved. The whole purpose of me doing this talk show, uh, not as much a podcast talk show, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, is basically on the political level as far as getting the people involved. Um, it's in, I think that this is something that we should be praising, we should be saluting, going behind and supporting. This man is running for city council, you know what I'm saying? He's not just trying to, you know, was a rapper and took his money and bought, uh, opened up a club or bought liquor to sell liquor. All these other things that's making these rap people Richer and richer and richer, but it's really not benefiting the community. Scarface, a, 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 a triple OG to the fullest, took another route where let's still stay in contact and involved with the people. He's running for city council. And uh, I think this shit is fucking awesome. Yeah, he, um, he what you call, uh, black people call politicking. He politicking and, um, in the words of Biggie, Biggie Small, you know what I'm saying? He never thought that rap, uh, hip hop would take it this far. Yeah. Um he in in a lot of his lyrics, um, as a member of the Ghetto Boys, he was always political and always talked about uh, different uh situations in uh his neighborhood, the ghetto mm-hmm. and, and, and so forth. And now he actually, you know, trying to do something about it. He's trying to better his communities and um he has a uh, um he has a, a a little organization that he has who what who which helps um um offend uh f- felony uh convicted felons convicted felons uh get back on the right track get back on the I mean which should be a no brainer you know what I'm saying if if look one of the things that's so important about this situation with Scarface and why we brought, why I wanted to bring it up and, and, and have it as a topic today is that I don't think black people understand the ins and outs. And, and look, I, I, I'm a political individual. That doesn't mean I know every ins and outs about every single political situation. But what I do know is that you have a, a, a federal level and you have a state level. The majority of things that make real deal change happen on a state level versus the federal level. And I don't think enough black people understand that. And, and, and it's not enough black people involved on a state and local level in politics to make the difference and make the change that can be made. We, If y'all don't know this, y'all can decide and vote in who y'all state prosecutor is. If y'all don't know this, y'all can decide and vote in who your local sheriff is, who your local mayor is. You guys can we can decide and vote in the people who control our everyday surroundings. But I think we had this conversation before in which I like it was brought up like when black people go out and vote. When, yeah, we talked about the revote. We did. We talked. Yeah, when, we talked about it. When before. black people go out and vote, they don't they don't. Educate themselves in what they're voting for. Yeah, they only voting for because so and so said to vote for this, mm-hmm. and so and so might not have educated themselves that well enough 
to know what the fuck they vote or for. on another level we was on some oh we just gonna vote democrat because our mom and daddy vote democrat yeah. and that's not giving anything to the republicans don't don't get it twisted what i'm saying is that you we have to educate ourselves you know what i'm saying we can't keep falling into the same habitual habits of we're just gonna go along with this because this is what my mama did and this is what my daddy did and this is what my grandmama and granddaddy did it's not like that look you we have to make sound decisions and that shit ain't been getting us nowhere voting nowhere by what, what I, I wouldn't give a damn which one you, you gener- vote for generational voting that, that shit ain't got us nowhere but to add on that um, to, and to bring up the, uh, the revolt Summit, because that's what we were talking about when we when we brought that up, the Revolt Summit. Yeah, yeah. Um, what Killer Mike and uh, Ti spoke on was the fact that uh, um, we might have to bring something new to the table, and that something new might be Scarface. Yeah, that, right. that something new might be Scarface because if you look at it, uh, dealing with the Ghetto Boys is like too loud crew. Uh, being on 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 a platform or on a ballot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They're the real deal. Get, get up boys. They legends. legends. They legends. And, yeah. the, and the millennials and white they don't know them. They don't, don't, don't know. Them. Yeah, they don't. The know ghetto them. boys. What they what they stood for and what they were about. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I think they got. They would they, just for y'all who don't know that are so familiar with NWA. Ghetto boys was the NWA of the South, hands down. Period. If you want to know who the Ghetto Boys was, they were the NWA of the South. And Period. They, and uh, I think they got what was one of the songs? Ballhead Ho or some <laughs> shit. Like, I, I'm, I didn't make this up. This is a song. <laughs> this is the type of shit that they they was on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, I know. And and you look at it, th- those songs <laughs> and and and, and uh, that agenda that they had back then would that come back to hurt them? Um, as far as this political uh, standpoint as councilman. And because not only um, is Scarface running for councilman, Willie D is running for councilman too. I actually did hear something about that, but I didn't really get too much on that. And if he is, you know what I'm saying, shout outs, you know what I'm saying, to Willie D. Because Willie D is a very, you know, Willie D a triple OG, you know what I'm saying? And, and it seems like when you're dealing with real triple OGs, you understand that the shit, once you, once you know the ins and outs of the streets... You the the only the only level to go from there is two ways in my opinion and this is how it it works when you deal on a street level the next stage is two two different paths you either gonna go business or you are gonna go political very seldom can you mix the two and make it happen you can do it but it seems like that's the way it goes and the ghetto boys being that they. They from, you know what I'm saying? They understand the struggle. They never was disconnected from the struggle. They never got to such a business level that their their decisions that they were making were disconnected from the struggle. From day one, every decision they made has still connected them to the struggle because they part of this shit that we go through. You know what I'm saying? And so this is why I think they floated to the political side of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's hard. It's hard to to be about your money. And be for the people. Yeah. I think that eventually every individual. But I don't think with face. I don't think it was ever about the money because he it never, wasn't. He bought the people. Yeah, he was never. He he never went after the money because no, he bought the people. If you look at if 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 you really broke down hip hop and and and, and uh, most influential rappers. Face is up there. Face is up there. He Fa- up first there. of all, first of all, for, I'm for about these with millenniums, Rock, with Rock Hill, for these millenniums Face. who don't know, you know what I'm saying? Face is a rap legend, borderline rap god. I don't, you know, y'all, y'all probably like, you know, if you, if you under thirty, you probably not understanding this shit. <laughs> At all. You know what I'm saying? You're not understanding this shit. You're not really understanding the rap game. You just know what you know from when you came into this thing. But to understand the entire aspect of this, Scarface is a rap legend, borderline rap god, straight up. You know what I'm saying? He he is. Look, T.I. came out, I'm the king of the South. But everybody know who Face is. Like, Face, face granted T.I. that capability to say that, for the record. Mm-hmm. I actually read that shit. And, and, and T.I. can come straight at me if I'm wrong. But nigga, Face... 
gave that nigga to be like, hey, you can you can have that title. That's how up on a level face is in this game, bro. Like, but, but like I was saying though, um, yeah, um, face is 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 um running for councilman of district um D. Okay. In Houston, Willie D is um, running for uh, District B in Houston. Okay, you know, and the fact that they they two ghetto boys and and, and, and their agenda that they had way back when, um, led versus now led them to this point. You know. Versus now is is. So let me tell you what the significance of that is. The significance of that is is being that they they these brothers are running on a local level. What it's going to do is going to get the people on a local level involved in the politics of their community. Because at the end of the day, it's the politics that control the community. So for us who are less fortunate, we don't have a Scarface to run in our community. We don't have a Willie D to run in our community. That means that we have to take politics on a local level even more serious. But it may take, it may, it may take the Willie D... And the Scarface running to influence another individual that's in our communities to step up and be like, okay, well, I'm, and, and I'm hopefully that will, hopefully that will. But the most important part is getting us involved on a local level. Look, change comes on a local level. If you all think that voting, because they always flash this, oh, you ain't vote, you ain't vote, you ain't vote. I'm gonna tell you where the fucking the commercial part and the, and the games to try to sell you on shit come in. They're selling you on you don't vote, you don't vote, you don't vote on a federal level. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you didn't vote for the president? Well, it's your fault. Look, I, I'm going to say some real shit that ain't nobody ever fucking said before. I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> My introduction into politics was in the 80s during the Reagan administration. I'm a Reagan's baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was born in the 70s, a baby in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? A jit in the 90s, a man in the, in the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? I was a man in the 90s too, but... So was I. You know but. what I'm saying? But you, you see what I'm saying as <laughs> yeah. far as like gener how, it went, how it went. Yeah. So I got introduced into this shit during the 80s with Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. So I, under I understood politics at that point. Ronald Reagan was a, a relevant subject matter in my household. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't never really paid attention to politics. You know what I'm saying? Until now. I, I'm, I'm so the reason why I'm saying all this is through all the presidents from Ronald Reagan, because I, I can't remember anything before him, mm -hmm. from all the presidents, nothing the president, even right now, Trump, nothing they ever fucking done did in office has truly affected me personally unless I got caught up in some shit and the laws changed and now it's mandatory this versus this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The only 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 president that I really tuned in and keyed into was Clinton. And then But did anything Clinton do while in office affect your life? And see that's what I had to learn. See when when he first got in office, you know, you know Minimum wage had went up a little bit, so uh, you know I thought that was something. Mm -hmm. I thought that was something, but like I said, I never really paid in attention to politics and, and, and the presidency until now. And understanding now what him and Hillary did back then, up under the radar, is like okay, you know, what I'm saying? federal level, very little affects you on every day on every day of your everyday life it's it's what they do on the local level my whole point of this whole conversation is the local level politics and government that exists with you understand every state has its own constitution you have a federal constitution and then you have a, a every single state has its own constitution mm -hmm. you like I used to say, I used to say, I used to get into it with um, people about Obama. I'd be like, when Obama got into office, it just so happened that when Obama made it into office, that's when um, the, the the body cams became relevant. Mm -hmm. And during his administration, you saw more police killing black people caught on body cams 
than you than, than ever. Like it had it got introduced while he was in office. So you catching all these killings, and he I'm like, why he can't just stop this shit? Why he just can't make a law and do this and do that? And guess what? Every time I kept coming across, guess what the answer was? Oh, that's a local level thing. That has to be, he can't interfere in that. That's a state thing. That's a local thing. I'm like, but he the president. Yeah, he the president, but see, we don't understand all the ins and outs of how these crackers have the game set up. You know what I'm saying? Where it's, 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 they, 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 they got so many intri intricate rules and regulations that you just, we under the impression, oh, he a black president, he should just be able to stop it. Well, it, that goes back to what I was saying about um, the revolt summit and what Killer Mike was saying and with uh, Scarface being uh, on the scene. Now. And, and on will a local he, level. Will he be a new face presenting, representing himself as Scarface? And that's another thing. He said once he get in. At, at, when, he Brad when, Jordan. Yeah, Scarface is yeah. a. That, yeah, he's yeah, not the, the, the scar face would scar die. Face. The scar yeah. face would die. It'll never die, but that's not that's no, not he, the no. He said he, that's that's not the he's not Scarface in a political no, arena. I, I, in the interview with himself, he said once he get in, into that political level, Scarface is dead. Okay, Scarface. I, mean, I, I can I, I, I can tell you that Scarface is dead. He's Brad Johnson from here on out. But my thing is this: once he get on you that political name, Brad Jordan. That nigga name ain't no Johnson. That nigga Brad Jordan, bro. What, you know, Jay, Jay, <laughs> shit. I'm just saying. Go ahead. <laughs> but anyway, play us fuck up, shit. Um. Anyway, um, once he get in, like, will he go against the grain? Go against the grain Already. of old politics versus of new course. politics. Of course he would. See, this is the thing about. But will that help him or harm him? It's it's gonna harm him. But guess what? He understands real deal politics. Look, the first people who look when you at war, the first wave of people mm -hmm. are killed. Mm -hmm. They're killed so the second wave of people can get a little further, and that second wave of people are killed. Then they send a third wave that gets a little further. That's war. You you have to sacrifice the fact that you're running for political office. You've already place yourself as a sacrifice sacrificial lamb you know what i'm saying and because you're gonna keep it real you real with this you know what i'm saying and that's why it's so important that we need to be so involved in our politics on a local level look even in even in seminole county we have the power if we were to organize and 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 get people to vote in the right manner see they so quick to get you to organize to vote for the president but the whole the reason why I brought up the whole thing about Reagan is that every single president been in office ain't never really affect my everyday single life as far as like how I maneuver, what I do, what I like, whether they whether they cut Medicaid, don't cut Medicaid, whether they stop food stamps, don't stop food stamps, whether they whatever that the president can do to for that that affects the local people, it really doesn't mean no real bearing because. We know how to survive. Mm -hmm. It's the shit that happened on a local level. You know what I'm saying? We got a fucking judge or a prosecutor who he hell bent on sending every black man to prison for 30 years. That affects the community. Mm -hmm. We don't need that prosecutor in office and we have the power to get him out of office. But our mentality isn't on that because we just think voting has something to do with the president. Uh, see, that's that, the point I'm trying to that make. Was, that, was, that was a point that um, Killer Mike made in the summit. He was saying that he would never vote for a prosecutor. In, when, when, in his opportunity to vote, he would never vote for a prosecutor because you will never. Because no matter what, the prosecutor works for the state. For the state. And you never understand that. the people. But, and, and I get what he said, but the next part of that is that at the end of the day, you have the power to put in who you want. Imagine if just just hypothetical talking. Imagine if you ran for prosecutor, I ran for judge. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm just saying hypothetical. I'm not saying. Oh, you know, you gotta go to law school. You know, you gotta do this. You, I, oh, okay. We, let's say we did all that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We was eligible to run, and the people knew us. Like the people knew our heart. The people knew our soul. You know, 
we you do have the power to put people like that in office. We just do not organize as a people to do it. There are eligible. Look, they've already passed the law in Florida that felons can vote. Yeah. For the record, just so everybody know, the law has been passed that felons can vote. That has just given you so much power. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why they passed it. One of the reasons why they passed it is because they know niggas don't think on a local level. They know niggas think exactly what I'm saying. They think, they, oh, I'm voting for the president. Oh, I'm voting for some shit that's in the White House. Like, nah, bro. That power can be used on a local level where you can make real deal change. And that's how it starts, man. And, and, and that's why I feel like what Scarface and Willie D is doing is so important because what they're doing is they're engaging people who are our age because the new millennium don't know them. But guess what? The new millennium know they mama just voted for Scarface. They daddy just voted for Willie D. They cousin just. So, so it starts to involve you on a local mentality and understand how politics work on a local level. And the one main thing that, that, that whoever they face is going to, their main objective is going to be, is to shoot them down. They're going to bring up their past. Of course. Bring up old records. Use things they said in their records and in the past against them. I'm going to try to discredit them. Yeah, but guess what? That's only going to come when you sort of start moving above the local level. Like, I'm going to give a good example. I forget the lady from, who's the councilwoman over here in Orlando. I forget her name. I know y'all know who I'm talking about. She was, I want to say they say she smoked dope back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She overcame that, you know what I mean? Who? Regina Hill. Regina, what's her last name? Regina Hill. Hill? Yeah. Yeah. Regina Hill, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and look, bulletproof love to Regina Hill. And anybody who knows her that's watching this, you know what I'm saying? Because she did exactly what we all need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? She got involved on a local level. She got involved with the people. The reason why Scarface isn't going to face that situation is because the people, the district he represented, ain't got no white people. Mm -hmm. This is exactly if Regina Hill was facing a district full of white people with that background, like out to my, uh, she wouldn't. Have, yeah, she, yeah. she nine times out of ten. I'm not saying she couldn't have made it. But nine times out of ten, yeah, slim. her chances were slim. Yeah. Being that she was, you know, representing the people where she come from and the neighborhoods she's she's from and the district she from, those are the people who voted it in. White people ain't voter in. And another another uh, a factor in what you're saying comes into play when you campaign it's money. Yeah, but on a local level. See, it's not like the federal shit. It's not like and running it, for it, governor or mayor neither. And that's it ain't to discredit uh, Willie D or Scarface because. I believe, especially Scarface, I, I ain't too keen on Willie D, but Scarface, I do believe he can make a phone call and be like, hey. Look, for the record, ain't neither one of them niggas broke. Yeah, they ain't you broke. Know, they they ain't. might be broke to each other. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to, to the people, like, yeah. they're straight, bro. Like, they not, and, and, and I believe, not hurt, bro. I believe, you know I, I believe Scarface alone can make that phone call and be like, you know what I'm saying? To any individual and be like, I need uh, whatever and get that. Yeah, Scarface good. Hey, for the people out there um, in Texas, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know people in Texas, man, go and, and vote your boy in, man. Brad Jordan is running for councilman. We need more of us involved on that level, on that political level. You know what I'm saying? So, like, hats off, you know what I'm saying? Bulletproof love, the Scarface, Willie D., Triple OGs in the game who who done stepped it up and, and went to the next level on this. Cause that's what it is, man. We we so we so quick to say how we want this and we want that and this needs to change and this needs to change, but we never do anything about it. Yeah, because it's so easy to state a problem of what you're gonna yeah. do. This show is just more than talking, just so y'all know. This show is is about discussing the issues and coming up with solutions. Because it's more than just talk. I don't want to. I don't want to. A year from now, or two years from now, if the, if 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 you know the universe be this show still doing what it's doing, we talking about the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got to be a change, man, and we got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So more people need to get involved. The whole moral of the story: more people need to get involved on local levels in politics, man. Educate yourself. Educate yourself on you know? politics. Quit going into them ballots. Looking over at the next bit sheet and, 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 and marking what the fuck they mark. 
you know. So, with that being said, what time is it? How much time we got? We good? Like what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's wrap up time. Oh shit. I was about to I was about to turn up in the sun and all told it. <laughs> we just getting warmed up, man. Shit. The liquor just starting to get into the veins. Shit, I'm feeling it pumping through right now, but I think it's time for us to wrap up. Hey, for y'all, man, look here. Don't hey, if y'all fucking with us, we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, man, for real. Like, Hopefully this is going to catch on to more people and they'll listen in because we want to talk about shit that make a difference. The most hated podcast. The most hated podcast. Believe that. You can believe that. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you if, if you haven't heard, man, go and download Anchor. Uh, download. Um, it's in your Play Store and your Apple Store. Search the CTR show. Listen to our old and new episodes. Try to tell y'all before, we got a rap mix. And it's a hell of a rap mix. And if y'all out there... Got some underground rappers y'all trying to bust through, man. Y'all want to get a little exposure, man. Get at us, man. We'll play your music. We'll interview you. We'll do the whole nine yards. Entrepreneurs out there. When I say entrepreneurs, I mean across the board. I ain't talking just minority. I ain't talking just black. I ain't talking just white or just women. I'm talking everybody. If you're if you're a local individual who's trying to get a little extra exposure and you understand what the program is about, you're more than welcome to DM us and come on the show. Uh, we want to say thank you. Catch us again next Friday. Next Friday. Um, also, um, bang out. I ain't forgot about you, cuz. Um, I think I'm going to go holla at LD. Let me see what he talking about. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Holla at, yeah, holla at him, I'm going to see what LD talking about. And um, let's see, let's see. Um, Whoever else, Wood man. Grain, Wood Grain. Man, Ross should have been got out of nigga. I don't know what Ross on. Hey, nigga, I'm looking at you. You know what I'm saying? You should have been got out of nigga. You know we fuck with you 1,000. Hey, bulletproof love to everybody out there, man. It's the CTR Show, Controversy Talk Radio, and we out. Peace.